Hello. Um, so first I should introduce myself before we just get right into it. Uh, my name is Harmony and I've been a Saint artist for almost, well, over four years and it's, I absolutely love it. Um, so today what I'm going to be talking to you about in this video is identifying color um, on your face so that you can utilize the wonderful new line with Saint called Demi Color. Um, and it is, it is very, you cannot do Demi Color without knowing what is the color that is excess in your distractions. So I'm going to say that again because <laughs> it can be kind of confusing. So listen to me. We are not actually looking for color on our face, which is very weird, right? Because we are gonna be utilizing a color wheel to neutralize our distractions. However, what we are actually looking for is the excess color in the distractions that we would like to filter, basically. So when, um, I say excess color, that's where things can get a little bit confusing because I think we've been trained since we were little, little babies to look at a color such as red and say, that's red, okay? Well, when we look at our faces, we like to just look for the color, but that is gonna completely throw you off because we are actually not looking for color. We are gonna be looking for certain characteristics that will help let us know what the excess color is in your distraction so that then we can filter out the excess color and leave us with the color that we want to see. Because we don't actually just want to completely get rid of the color in general. We just want to get rid of the one that's in excess. Um, so I think, but, but like I said, it can be very confusing when you first start. And I, I feel like most people are like, oh, I got this. I can see color. I know what this is. Yeah, that's not what it is. <laughs> so I want you to forget everything you've been told and taught about looking for a color um, for this circumstance for utilizing Demi Color on our face because we are wanting to look for the color that is in excess. So instead of looking for color, what we are gonna do is we are gonna look for a few characteristics of the distractions. So first and foremost, you've kind of been maybe taught or you've looked into or you've seen some tutorials. Um, with Demi, we are not applying it all over our face. We are just choosing some distractions. And most of us like to say to start with three. Three, just choose three things on your face and you're gonna start there, okay? So you're gonna choose those three things and then you're that you would like to filter or, um, you know, Kind of erase basically so most of us are going to look at the under eye area um melasma or blemishes and so luckily we have kind of broken this down for you into a science that makes it really easy to distinguish what the excess color is because again you're not actually going to look for color so if you look under your eye and you're like oh what is this dark color i see right here Naturally, our eyes are going to tell us it looks purple, which is what we see, but that's not the color that's in excess that's making that stand out. So that's why we're going to be looking for specific characteristics to help us determine which color is in excess. Then we are going to use the color wheel to go through and neutralize and find the one on the opposite end so that we can filter out that excess color. So let's just go ahead and get right to it. Okay, so the first color we're gonna talk about is blue. And the reason I chose to talk about blue first is because it's probably one of the more common colors um, that we will find on our skin. Uh, I should say one of the most common colors we will find in a distraction that we are wanting to filter on our skin. So blue, blue is gonna look, so if you know something has excess blue, it's going to have the characteristics of being dark because blue is the most pigmented color. Um, so it is dark. Okay. It's dark. It's going to be kind of dull. It's not going to have any vibrancy to it. It's just going to be dark, shadowy, and dull. So a good source of blue, what I can show you is like under my eye here, which is really hard to see. And it is so bright. Let me see if I can pull you back just a little bit. 
under my eye here i have these just like right here that look like purple but they're actually it's a vein right they're purple veins right here and it's just kind of dark kind of dull and kind of shadowy so i know that it has excess blue so though it looks purple to the eye it's actually not purple um and i'll tell you why in a minute it's blue excess blue so then that's when you would look at your color wheel and you would go across the color wheel to figure out what you're gonna neutralize with and more often than not you're gonna kind of be in this realm right here so something has excess blue it's dark and it's dull um, and sometimes it can be like say if you have a zit that is or a blemish blemish sounds a little bit more professional let's go with blemish so say you have a blemish and that blemish is like a three-day-old blemish and it's kind of scabbed and it's um it looks to be what we would think kind of red but it's actually not red in the center where the scab is it's dark right usually if it's really dark or darker in color and it's not very bright um it's excess blue so blue is easy to me if, you, if something has excess blue it's dark and it's dull and it's shadowy so if you're looking and most of the time when we're looking at areas on our face that we um or distractions on our face that we want to filter a lot of the times they're gonna be a little bit dark. Um, okay, so that's blue. The next color I wanna to move to is red. So a lot of the times when people are looking for red, you're, every, some, we, a lot of the times we see red all over our face, but it's actually not always red. So let me tell you the characteristics for red. If it's got excess red, then it's gonna be, because think of bright. Think of saturated, like a stop sign or like an angry zit, or I mean, have this juice in here, this leftover juice, that is, that's red. And red is super, super saturated in color. So it's gonna be vibrant. So that would be something that's red is gonna be where that has excess red on it. And which I can't even really see anywhere that I have excess red on my skin right now to show you because what would be excess red would be something that is definitely really inflamed. So like really, um, like if you have rosacea, that's not super dark because if it's dark rosacea, it can have excess blue. But if it's rosacea, that's, um, you know, pretty inflamed, pretty red, or if you have a, a, a brand new zit that's just coming to the surface and it's pretty angry and it's pretty inflamed and pretty saturated in color, then you know it's excess red. Okay, so red, that's a pretty easy one to me. So then that's when you go across your color wheel and figure out what color you're gonna neutralize with. Um, now, the next color, let's go to green because I feel like most of us would look at our faces and be like, I don't see green. You're right, because we're not looking for actual green on our face. <laughs> we're looking for characteristics that would let us know that something is excess green. So something is excess green, Typically, so if we think about what green is made up of, it has blue and it has yellow. So the blue is gonna make it a little bit dark and the yellow is gonna kind of make it a little bit light at the same time. And so that's where green comes in. Now, good examples of green would be like melasma typically or freckles. So again, I gotta pull you back. I'm sorry, but I have to do this in order for you to see. Um, so if I look at mine, I see these like, freckles right here if I wanted to spot treat those or even some on my nose um some of my deep deeper points that I wanted to go in and filter those out those would be melasma a lot of the times is excess green again because it has it's not super dark and dull it's not shadowy like blue it's just got a little bit of dark think of like muddy like a, like a swamp or like an alligator that's green, that's kind of what you're gonna see on your skin. It's gonna be muddy, it's gonna be swampy. Um, it's not gonna have like a lot of vibrancy or anything to it. So that would be green, excess green. So then you're gonna go here and go across. Okay, so we've covered blue, red, and green. So the last color that I really wanna cover, um, because Honestly, orange and yellow, those are very, very rare to see on the skin um, to have excess of because those are super bright. 
Um, so the one color that I do still want to touch base on is violet. So if you have something on your skin that looks darker, because again, what's violet, what's purple made up of? Red and blue. So we know that it's got to have the characteristics of blue, which would be kind of darker, kind of dull, but then it also has red. So putting that red in it makes it a little bit more vibrant. Um, so it's kind of a teensy bit inflamed. Not a lot, but just a little bit. So that is where something like this, like around here, that actually, because it's a little bit darker, it's dull, it's not super inflamed. That right there is somewhere on my face that has excess violet. So again, we're just looking at certain characteristics. So when I see a spot on my face that I wanna filter out, the first thing I do is I say to myself, is it dark? Okay, it's dark, so we know it's got some form of blue in it. Is it vibrant at all? Does it look inflamed? Because if it looks inflamed or a little bit vibrant, then we know it's gotta have a little bit of red in it somewhere, which could lead us to purple. But if it looks dark, if it's dull, kind of shadowy, then we know, or kind of swampy, then we know it's gotta be more green, right? So it's like you, you, you're just gonna look for, you're gonna look at that spot and you're gonna look for specific characteristics to know what your excess color is. You are actually not gonna look for a color. <laughs> I can't say that enough because that was the one thing I think for me when I got it, um, I, you know, when I was learning how to do Demi, I was just looking for color on my face. And that made it so hard because when I look for color on my face, I see lots of red um, and obviously discoloration, but like what color is that, right? Like you can't, brown is not a color. That's not on the color wheel. We can't use that. So we're looking for characteristics. So I hope that helps you knowing which characteristics when you're looking at a distraction, how you want to treat it in knowing what color is in excess. Okay. So red, it's going to be bright. It's going to be fiery. Think of a stop sign. Um, green, it's going to be swampy. It's going to be kind of dull. It's going to be a little bit dark. That's green. Blue, it's going to be dark. It's going to be dull. It's going to be shadowy. Um, and then violet is kind of a combination where you have a little bit of brightness, but kind of dark and dull at the same time. Um, and that's going to lead you to violet. So that's how you're looking for finding the excess color in your distractions. I hope that helps. Um, and hopefully we'll be seeing you guys around.